hello everyone in this video I am going to show you how to use text field in Java NetBeans application to do this go to your new project go to Java application and then give text field app do finished and go to text field app Go to source package and go to default package right click on it and click on jframe form and click text field and do finished this is now your jframe form this is a form now you need to design everything over this form and right click on it to set your layout there are different kind of layouts that can be used to design your form and here are multiple layouts among them I'll be using absolute layout and then go to your swing containers take a panel from here and then cover this jframe now to design this panel right click over here go to properties and then after going properties you just need to change background color with your choice yeah I'm completely giving this blue color next again if you want to use panel over here just use panel like this Okay, to to write something and then we can change your color from here and then let me change this to yeah pink you can design with your choice this is your choice you know and then I want to write something here to write something here I just take label and I'm saying this working with text field in Java and I want to make this bigger right click on it and go to properties go to font size times a new Roman and I want to keep bold and ok now if you if I want to change color then I need to change this foreground I want to keep it as white color like this and then okay now let me design my some text fields here first thing that I want to know that what I will be getting from those text field let us say full name And this is full name and I want to make it a bigger one so click from here choose your font and then your font style font size if one change color then change from here to white yeah and then make it like this and make it duplicate yeah full name now full name then yeah wait let me just undo this undo yeah control it now I want to get text field for full name right Okay, just I'm removing this text from here and I'm designing this with times a new Roman font italic and then 14 
okay just right click it and you need to do it you need to set variable for this give user or just full name this you know this variable name is essential to get and set values to this text field whenever you want to get data from this field then you need to use this variable name to get data and whenever you want to set data to this text field you just use that variable and access this text field from anywhere inside your code now let me copy this control C control C yeah then control D okay let me just make it above okay again control D yeah now this uh, the, I think this look fine again control D control D yeah okay what's wrong here Okay. Okay, this is just design now. Okay, full name then email phone number country city now I will take buttons to get data from this text field and I will rename this as get get data and I will just make text bigger yes, times bolder and then 18 get data and then I will just copy this and I will say next the, what I will say is just yeah clear data whenever you click on clear data you need to clear all the data type over here then again I will just control D and I will say I would say here set data yeah this is our design now okay okay fine now just let me let me run this yeah what's going wrong here okay this is our design now let me run this from here okay just click on okay yes this is our text these are the our text fields that we have created but the one thing that I want to let you know is let us take whenever you type data here like full name Pritom thing email Pritom at the rate gmail.com and for number this and then country Nepal city Kathmandu then whenever I say get data thus I need to get all the data to my 
variables and I need to access or I need to perform some operation to this data right then whenever I click on click clear data just I need to clear all the data from here and whenever I click on set data whatever data that I have cleared from this just I need to get it back to these fields am I clear okay now let's get into this before get into this operation get data just let me confirm that what are the variables that we have used to these fields okay now right click here just confirm your variable name full name this is okay now this one yeah this is full name one this is not full name one this is email right give email remember that these variables name are used to access data from these fields okay and then now phone number just I will give phone and I will hit enter and then next country okay country and then next city these are the fields that we are going to access and no need to change for this data thus we need to is double click or right click on it go to action yeah where is action okay events and then action action perform understand now you need to write your logic to get all the data up here just what I will do is I'll get all the data and store in my string buffer that is you know like data structure yeah I will define a string buffer object sp new a string buffer yeah and then after this what I will doing is I will get all the data to string buffer and store it to there and then I will display it to my console saying that I get all data from my text field now do sp dot append and then what you will be getting here is from the first sorry from this text field here is variable name full name right full name from this full name whatever the data I type over here that will be getting here and I will be setting to my string buffer that is you know full name dot get get text instead of get string just use get get text what is this okay yeah full name is a variable name and then get text hey what is happening yeah I'm okay console insert full name dot get text okay to string just convert it to to string or if you want to convert to lower case to, to upper case then you can use this function just I'm converting this to string whatever the data that I passed over there I'm just converting it to a string okay this is full name yeah instead of doing this to what I'm doing is my full name is my full name is this right and then next what I will doing just I will this control B yeah copy paste for other how many text fields we have here sorry one two three four total total five right five now next yeah the first one is my full name 
and second one is my email and then third one is my phone number yeah I will say my email address is email address is instead of full name just keep email to access email text field whatever the email that you have typed over the email then it will give this and then next my phone number number is yeah give your phone and then next country right my country is give your country and then next the last one my sorry my city is give your city oh sorry city and then just write here system dot out dot print ln all wait slash n for new line and then arrow let me see this all data then system dot out dot print ln your sp dot true string whatever data that you have stored in your string buffer that you are going to write on console right now right click on it and then this is your console whatever the data that you have entered here it will be displayed there when you click on get data gmail.com and phone number and then country city and click on get data right now it is saying my full name is put something my email address is this and my country my phone number this my country is Nepal and my city is Kathmandu yeah this is coming in the same line now if you want to make it to different line then just you need to do uh, print next line just add next line to the what you call okay let me write here yeah the first line you don't need to write next line from next data then you need next line right here and here 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 okay that's that's all guys now every line will be coming in next line this line whatever data you have enter here Thing and Pritam at the rate gmail.com phone number random yeah, right. and country Nepal city Kathmandu and click on get data and now you will see here my full name is Pritam thing my email address is this and my phone number my country my city all right now next operation is clear data okay now to do this just go to design and right click on clear data go to events action and action perform now whenever you click on clear data just you need to set all the fields to be 
nothing right empty for that just you need to write full name dot set text you just need to set text to null nothing right okay now just copy this paste it for five times because we have five text fields here next email and then phone city country yeah these are the five fields that we need to set empty when we click on this clear data right now this will be working fine if I'm not wrong let me take this yeah for thumb and just clear data yeah now thumb and email at the red gmail.com and phone number you give you random phone number country file city KTM yeah now just click on clear data it will clear all the data right now one thing what we have to do is when you clear data then set data means you are you need to get back all the data that you have cleared right to do this just you need to go here set data when you are setting data you need to store those data in somewhere right so <clears throat> before doing this what you will be doing is before clearing all the data what you will be doing is you will be storing those data in a string buffer now now to store all the data you need to write your string buffer class and that we have already written over here just copy and paste it here and then before clearing all the text fields just what it will be doing is it will store all the data in the string buffer and then when you click on your set data then all the data will be setting it to these respective